We expect to learn more after a 14 year old was shot inside of a home on Detroit's west side. Police say the home was not the intended target when gunfire rang out outside. The girl was struck in the eye and rushed to the hospital. Her condition at this time is unknown. The Wayne County Medical Examiner's Office will start looking at the bodies of 11 infants found inside of the now shuttered Cantrell Funeral Home. They were found Friday in a drop ceiling between the first and second floors. The former funeral home operators are not cooperating. Detroit City Councilman Gabe Leland is set to be arraigned today on bribery charges. Leland is facing one count of conspiracy to commit bribery and two counts of bribery. The feds say that he accepted $15,000 from a local business owner in exchange for delaying or preventing the sale of his property. The Democratic candidate for lieutenant governor faces a deadline to clean up a property. Garland Gilchrist II bought a vacant building from the Detroit Land Bank in 2016. It says Gilchrist has until today to provide proof that the exterior of the property is clean. And the president and first lady are expected to travel to Florida's panhandle in southern Georgia to survey the damage caused by Hurricane Michael last week. Our latest update is that 19 deaths have been reported. Nearly half a million people still remain without power across the southeast. And we might learn which Sears stores are scheduled to close. The iconic retailer has announced overnight that it is officially filing Chapter 11 bankruptcy. Company CEO Eddie Lampert will also step down immediately. As part of the Chapter 11, Sears will shut our 142 stores towards the end of the year. And some breaking royal baby news. Kensington Palace confirming that Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, is pregnant with her first child. Markle and Prince Harry got married five months ago. The baby is due this upcoming spring and will be the seventh in line to the British throne.